This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey everybody, this is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. I'm going to bring you a video real quick that explains the homemade scent killer that we made when we were in Texas hog hunting. If you've watched our video on our Texas hog hunt, you'll notice that the first night a boar came in and as soon as he hit the spot where we had walked in, he just bolted. Uh, we didn't pay enough attention to their nose and hogs have one of the best noses out in the woods so we should have paid more attention to that. So the second night we went out a little bit more prepared. We had our homemade scent killer sprayed down with that and got out there. I got the camera set up and when that boar came in he walked into the same area and you could tell that he kind of picked something up because he smelled. He jumped back for a second and kind of took off but he didn't leave the area like he did the night before. He turned around came right back in and walked right in front and gave a great shot for Amy. We were able to get this boar thanks to that scent killer in my opinion. You want a 16 ounce container of hydrogen peroxide, you want a gallon of distilled water which cost about 78 cents and you're not going to use much of it. You can actually save the rest of it for drinking while you're out hunting. You'll need some baking soda which you can get for 58 cents and then the spray bottle that we used was only 75 cents. You'll also need to pick up a container to mix it in. A two liter bottle works great with the cap and we actually just dug one out of the trash so it didn't cost us anything. Make sure you rinse the two liter out first. So with everything all together it cost us about three dollars and it really saved us so I'd highly recommend you try it. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take two cups of the distilled water and pour that into your two liter and then measure out a quarter cup of the baking soda and pour that in there. You can use a piece of paper as a funnel to get it to go in. Once you get it in there, go ahead and put the cap on and shake that up as good as you can. You want to try and dissolve all of that baking soda so there's no powder left in the bottom of the water. Then you can go ahead and take your 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide and pour that into the water baking soda mixture. This is the part where it could start to fizz, but since you've already mixed the baking soda into the water, it's not going to fizz as bad. Once you've poured in the hydrogen peroxide, go ahead and put the cap on, shake it up real good, and then gently take that cap off. A lot of gas is going to escape, so make sure you take it slow and have a towel handy just in case. One big key that will help you on this, though, is to try and make this mixture as far in advance of the hunt as you can. This is going to take a while for that chemical reaction to stop, and you need to be able to pour it into your spray bottle and put the cap on so it's not spilling everywhere and still venting gas. And once you get out there, you can spray down. It's even a good idea, really, if you have the opportunity to go ahead and take your hunting clothes outside a couple hours before you're going to hunt and spray it on and let it dry on the clothes and then spray down again once you make it to your stand. It really made a big difference. I think it's what probably helped us get such a great shot and some good footage on that hog hunt and I highly recommend it. If you're in a pinch and you can't find any store-bought stuff, that will really work and under three dollars you can't beat the price. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments leave them in the line below and as always keep subscribing and we'll keep more videos coming for you.